All right, welcome to Pacific Push on Taste Radio, Dash Radio. It's your host, G Money. And today I'm Zoomed in with Young Henny. Henny, what up? What up, my boy? What up, what up, what up, what up family? Crazy. Yo, man, you, you know what time it is. Let, let's get right into that because I see you pulled your man up. Yo, man, um, I go on your DSPs because, you know, I'm checking out the music. I checked out your YouTube. And, and there's this weird avatar up there, bro. I don't know who this is. I was like, I'm not sure if this was his old, uh, his his, his uh, alter ego, but he over here, he definitely riding the wave. He riding the wave right now. He jumping in and, and feeding his music in your page. It's crazy. That's a fact. I got a team um, working on that right now, man. Um, sorry to everyone that's getting um, confused with that, um, but I'm the real young Henny. He's Caucasian and dark skin. You know how that go. Boom. But the team working on that now. Um, to fix all of that. But what me and my man was talking about, let's get right into that. The track She Wanna, bro, this whole time, I didn't know he made that beat, bro. This shit got my head fried right now. I'm thinking, because I get so many beats in my email. So mm -hmm. when I'm in the studio, I just go through them and I just, oh, but that was hard. And I don't record. So I, I mean, I don't write, excuse me. I don't write. So I just punch it, punch out. So whatever beat, I just go into it. Sometimes I forget to go look at the producer name who sent the beat or whatever who I got it from. But on this whole time is my homie, bro, that made the fucking beat. It. You got my head fried right now, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. And I'm sorry, bro. The whole time promoting, I would have been tagged. You know what I mean? No, nah, uh, no. Nah. So shout out to the guy, man. Appreciate that. Shout out well, to you, Left, you man. Have... Left made the beat, man. She won him, man. Shout out to my boy Left, man. Right here, he made the beat. I'm glad you clarified that because first I thought you were saying that the the white man avatar who's uh who's on your page he was the one who recorded. I said, hold on, you telling me he oh, no, 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 no. That's just um confusion with the young Henny thing. I'm the real young Henny. I don't I don't know that guy. Me his music is not the same. I don't know him. So please, we only have four singles out right now. Family, four singles, two videos. So tune in, stay tuned, man. I have more heat. And it's Y U N G. Yeah, Y U N G. Any. That's the difference. Boy, no. Boy, shit is Y U N G too. It is? It's changed to Y O U N G. He's sneaking videos in on your YouTube page anyway. That's a whole nother story. Word. I peeped that with the real, when I switched it to the real young Henny, I peeped that too. So I'm about to, the team is working on that too, man. You know, but I'm glad we got that out, out there because I'm um, on this show and, you know, the taste platform as well. We touch listeners all across the globe and we don't want to send anyone to the wrong person. God bless you, the other young Henny, but build it on your own. You know, I looked at it. I'm like, hold on. He got some some big features. I said, maybe this is the same young Henny. But I hear the music. I'm like, nah, this ain't it right here. This ain't him. It's not the same. And, and she won was one of the tracks and Thermo on the beat. So when I looked at the videos, I see him Thermo on the beat. I got Thermo on the scope. I said, OK, is so this different young Henny? You know, um, so so let's take it back to the name. man. And, you know, again, for the listeners out here, we don't want to make any assumptions. Right. Because Henny could be sure for anything. But Young Henny, is th is that short for Hennessy? Nah, just Henny. No Hennessy, just Henny. Young Henny. So how'd you get the name Young Henny? Um, it's a hood thing, you know, growing up in the hood, you know, hanging with the older um, older homies, you know, when it's time to chip in on liquor. I'm always the nigga, I'm always the person screaming my French. I was always the person screaming out, yo, let's get some Henny. They like, man, this young boy always wants Henny. So ran with that, Henny. I had a different name before that, but that was some, some doing shit, but they switched it over because of that. It's that time of the year, man, especially uh, summer, summer creeping up. This is officially corner store ice cup Henny weather. Yeah, that's a fact. Henny or tequila. I think the homies going to do tequila on the, on the summer this year. You yeah. know, every year is a different bottle, different liquor for the summer. We're going to get back into the music because, you know, I checked out the, the singles and the videos and I couldn't put you in any type of category as far as like the rap is now, the way music is being produced. You know, anytime an artist comes out of Brooklyn, not anytime, but they toss drill at it. But I, I wouldn't consider you a drill rapper. I just say that it's different sounds because I know you're, you're currently in Miami, but uh, just like going from Runs Pack 
to thermal on the beat, you're playing with different cadences, uh, your delivery, different subject matter. So how stylistically, what kind of artist would you consider yourself? Um, I don't even do that. I just, I just set myself an artist. So for the vibes, depending on how you're feeling, that's how you're making the music. That's a big fact. It's a vibe thing. Just call me a vibe artist then. Let's just say that. I'm a vibe artist because we could be in the studio. A gospel beat get on if I'm feeling it. Okay, that's how. It's just a vibe thing. I just love music. So what's the difference between when you're making your music, the vibe in New York City, as opposed to the vibe in Miami? Because, you know, everyone runs down to Miami. It's a great time. But I always tell people, like, it's nothing like New York City in the summertime. Like, it's different in the winter, but New York is heavy, heavy vibes in the summertime. So what's what's the difference? What do you like making music? What do you prefer to make the music? It's a different vibe, different scenery, different air, different feeling, different people. So you see different shit, different more shit to talk about. That's why I like to go to different cities, too, and record. Just, just New York make you want to get on your, your lyrical shit, too, though. <laughs> Especially when I get to New York, I don't know why. It's like I transform. Especially when I go to New York, it's like a transformation. As soon as the plane land, it's like a. That's where I'm from. So you got to just transform into your New York mentality, your New York kid, your New York, you know, time. I don't know. It's just a different vibe, different city. And you're right about that. Like, and it's good when you hear any artist that still appreciate lyricism because there's. There's a big push. It's been like that for a long time for melodies, flows, and, and, and just different deliveries. But you still, in my opinion, still should have some bars and some content behind that. So being that, you received a major cosign early in your career from your godfather, Buster Rhymes. And you know, easily, like, he gets overlooked when, you, when people put up those, like, top ten lists or whatever. But when you want to talk about sheer delivery and being able to fit in a lot of words in a sentence, or, yo, Buster's wordplay is incredible, and he actually crossed over damn near three decades and still remains relevant. So when you play that records, or you play records for Buster, is there any pressure? Yeah, yes, it's, it's, it was it's crazy. Me, personally, I haven't get to sit here and be like, yo, God Pops, listen to this. It's really my Pops, because my Pops' best friends, that's how he will end up to be my godfather and my pops best friends. So my pops be around him all the time. They around each other all the time. So they in the studio playing the track. And he called me, woke me up out of my bed like, yo, bro, this song right here is hard. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you I'm about to get on this track. That's how me and Buster track came about too. So it's oh, a, so different, a different feeling. Like it's a real like, damn, I'm really doing this shit. People really feeling my shit. For him to wake me up out of my bed and tell me he getting on my song. That's a different feeling. I thought I was gonna have to call him, like, yo, 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 oh, I got a track. I want you to get on. I didn't have to do that. So you have you have something loaded. What type of buster did you get on the track? Because he's very competitive. At first, he came on the track on some teaching me right and for wrong, because what I said on the track. Then he was like, you know what? If you change that bar, it was just a one bar too. It was crazy. He said, you change that bar, I'm gonna give you, a, I'm gonna give you the real bus. I changed the bar, <laughs> nigga. changed the bar, nigga. Went, gave me the Buster Buster. Cause the first verse was cool too. It was hard, but you could tell he was really schooling me for what I said. You feel me? Like basically, you could hear the OG talking to the young homie. You feel me? But when I switched that bar, it came through. And we need that. So, like, those records are important, man. Like, especially with so many generations. Let's keep it in Brooklyn right now. Like, right, like, you got Buster. You still got Hove coming. You know what I'm saying? You got Fab. Then you got the different generations under that. The Rowdies. Everybody. Everybody's coming. So, you feel me? So, when you, when you get those kind of records, and, and like you were saying, and Buster can come and still deliver, I think that's good because it's just like sports. You know, you're watching what's happening with basketball, and you have the LeBrons, and you also have the young young gunners. But, you know, any given night, any given night, the veterans are going to come crazy, and, and the young ones push them. So, that, that's great to hear you have that type of record, man. That was big for me. That was a – when he woke me up, it was like 4 in the morning. I ain't go to sleep till about 10, 11. I was up after he woke me up. 
So I was very happy about that shit. Really appreciate that shit. Shout out to my shout out to Buster for that, man. Appreciate you man, for that. I know that you come from a family of entrepreneurs and you yourself are an entrepreneur, but you have a love for dogs and you turn that into a hobby, a hobby into a business. Right, so yeah, I breed dogs and I'm also um, vice president of a group homes. We have, a, you know, my, my mother and I have group homes. Now that's big. I didn't know that. You got to speak up so the people can hear that because a lot of times you're talking to artists, you could talk about a lot of different things, but so you have group homes. Where at? Right in Georgia. We have like four of them. Um, we have the one, um, two men homes and two women homes. No, nah, that's great, man. Like, honestly, that's really big. And you should be proud. You and the whole family for that. That's dope, man, that you're doing something different. And, and that's, that's going to really impact different. people and help the family. Shout out to my mother, man. She always was working like a man. That woman worked hustle like a man, son. She planted a seed. You know I mean? Definitely. Now, with, with the dogs, taking it back to the dog breeding, it's hot right now, like all throughout the country, in the hip hop game, everywhere, not just hip hop, but the Frenchies, man. Yeah, I'm breeding Frenchies, um, fluffy Frenchies. I have the fluffies too, my fluffies. So stay tuned. I have a letter about to drop end of the summer. So people stay tuned. It's gonna be um, um, Isabella Fl um, Fluffy Marrows. So I have a different mix of them. But those right there go for 20000 and up, like the fluffy Frenchies, if you do your homework. Those going up. I already know, man. Shout out, shout out to my my guy DJ Young Fresh. He's in the game with those, with the Frenchies too. And oh, um, that's the song. Yo, so and, and and you can share with the people, yo, the whole game of even getting getting the female dogs pregnant is ill. It's ill. It's ill. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of different. It's a lot of different ways. You can do syringe. You can do surgical. I mean, it's different ways, man. But yeah, so French, because you know the Frenchies can't really get on top of each other and do it like the pit bulls them do it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's how that go. Yeah, and I love dogs from young. My uncle had me around dogs. I had dogs when I was younger. Love dogs. And for the listeners, when he's talking about that syringe or surgical, we don't need to get in details, but you understand what can happen with the dogs. You got to take something from the male dogs and pump the female dogs up. And that costs too. That costs a, a, a nice penny on top of when you have to deliver the dogs. Sometimes you got to pay for somebody to come over and open up the female dog as well. That's a big fact. I'm not sure the pups too. It is. It's a different game, but you you win it. And, and, and we've touched on the group homes, yeah, the dogs, your relationship with Buster, and, and let's get all the way back into the music. So... In 2021, what should the listeners and the people be looking out for when it comes to Young Henny? Um, more heat, different sounds, way different, more sounds. I have, right now, I'm just warming up. I'm just giving them the love. I mean, but my two more, um, I'll do two more singles. I'm going to get them an EP. So, you won't really hear that shit. Hey, we just going to go up, man. Fuck with me. I fuck with y'all. I mean, let's turn up. Keep it going. No, definitely, definitely. It's good to see and hear. And, you know, to be honest, because uh, a lot of times with the music and when artists make certain music, the, the fans, the people, they may not totally understand where the energy is coming from, but especially, like, if you come from certain environments and it doesn't matter if you're from Brooklyn, any kind of hood or street in the neighborhood, you're going to get this type of music because that's that's where you come from. But then when you get a chance to talk to the person behind it and understand, like, nah, man, like, there are more, they're, they're more things about us that are similar than different. It's just the type of environment I grew up in, you know? So it's refreshing to hear you talking about, like, the group homes and, 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 and uh, definitely tapping into being an entrepreneur. But, you know, we still going to get the songs for the ladies and the big, the big thermos on the scopes, too. That's a big fact. They're going to hear the, the beginning because this is some... All that group homes, and that's no. We're gonna go back how before that, how we got to that. And then later on in my career, we're gonna talk about what we talk about now, how the group homes and all that. But again, we're gonna go to the day zero. The young honey, how this shit came about, how it, what I went through, and Ray, Ray, and Ray, Ray, and all that. Especially on my tape, you're gonna hear the, you're gonna hear the deep shit. 
stuff people really don't talk about, what they hide. I'm going to keep it a band with y'all. Shit is not peaches and cream. And especially in the social media era, and you see it, everyone sees it, it's so easy for individuals to show love to strangers, show love to artists that they've never met a day in their life. They liking it, they commenting. But when somebody from the same neighborhood or someone that they may know is doing something, they don't always get that same same love. So when you started out early, were you receiving the same love that you are getting now when you go back home? Or how's the energy? Um, it was always love from, from the hood. I'm, saying, I'm from Brooklyn, I'm from the hood. And then shout out to on the hood out here in Florida that I fuck with Z60. I'm from Montgomery. We all from Montgomery, I'm black. Hilltop, Crown Heights. Then I fuck with Florida too. Shout out to Z6, Gun Rock. It's love, like. I was outside, I mean, shit was handed to me. I had to work for it. I mean, you gotta be outside. Got into my fights, got into my scuffles. I mean, I did this and I did that. I respect my shit and I respect it. No, nah, but you know what I'm talking about because, you know, it, it, it typically can start off as love until you get too big or too much money or, or too much anything, too much attention, your jury start looking different, yeah, and then the love yeah, starts turning yeah, into yeah, hate, yeah, or you know, so so do you ever worry about that, and I'm not talking about worrying in the sense of being worried for, for your safety, but just how you know, as things start progressing oh, yeah, you always people gotta start have that changing back, Yeah, you always gotta have that in the back of your head because you never know what a person thinking you gotta play chess, this is, this is chess not checkers so you gotta know how you how you roll your dice in know what's holding and it's all in how you rock with people you know how you rock with a person sometimes that person will still do you dirty when you're doing them you rocking with them good but you gotta i ain't i ain't i'm not saying i'm the perfect person but i, I don't know god just messed me with something that i just peep shit from far so even with my close homies like if i see something i just fall back before we get into that shit Especially my family. I'm good with family though. Like I said, it's just chess and I check it. You just gotta play your cards right. That's right. And 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 watch the pieces on the table, you know? Cause them don't sleep on them pawns. Them pawns do pawns bite. Not Listen. sleep on them. <laughs> you, you bite. You let them creep all the way to the other side, they become a king. We gotta remember that, you know? Talk to me. Talk to me. You know? You know what's going on. Yeah, man. But uh, before we get out of here, because I appreciate you taking your time again for the listeners, Young Henny's here and we also zoomed in. He's in the studio. I know he puts a lot of time in the studio. He's working, but uh, he took out time to, to sit down and, and chop it up with us and, and give us a great interview. So we really want to let the people know how to find you and not that other guy. Or tune in. Um, Instagram is underscore Y-U-N-G Henny. Um, Twitter is Young Henny sixty, Facebook is Young Henny sixty two. Um, you can tell by the parents, man. You can tell how I talk, by the posture, everything. I'm not that guy, and he's not me. So, you know what I mean? Tune in, man. Appreciate the ones that's tuning in, and appreciate the ones that's about to tune in. For real, and 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 make sure y'all run up. She wanna runs pack flow thermo on the beat. All that right. other stuff, all of that other stuff, he may make great music, but we are not here talking to that uh, young We have four singles out right now, two videos. For me, tune in. She Wanna Flow, Runs Pack, Thermo on the Beat. That's what it is, man. So, you know, before we get out of here, I got to make sure I give a shout out to my guy, Namalus. He makes sure he takes care of me for the lights, the zoom, everything. We we rocking out. Shout you know. Out shout out to him. Shout out to Taste Radio, the entire Pacific Push team, G Money, Young Henny, Heavy Brooklyn Vibes. He double cupped up. I'm about to pour something myself. We tapping out of it.